Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reading through chapter 973 of One Piece. So based on how the last chapter ended, I can only assume that we're going to go back to the present timeline, something that I'm looking forward to. I don't know how much longer Act 3 is going to go on. We had a lot of chapters with um, the flashback for Odin. I feel like Act 3 might be coming to a close very soon, uh, but we'll see about that. So let me just go ahead and read the newest chapter. So yeah, let's, ju let's just jump right into it. Chapter 973, Kazuki Clan. Cover story is Gang Beige on My Family, Episode 21, Gotti Against Attack. I'm so high up. Stop, Odin. That's too high. Even though we are so high in the sky, we can't even see the end of it. This is what we call the world, Momonosuke, Hiori. Look carefully. It's a landscape we don't have in Wano. Okay, so we're getting some, uh, a bit more flashback. So, cool. Cool to see. Uh, moving on. Momo, what kind of girls do you like? Isn't that a bit too early? Slice your enemies as if they were spring rolls, Momonosuke. Education move. How was it? You were able to go to Zo, Lord Odin. Wait, you were able to go to Zo, Lord Odin. Yeah, if I had to sum up my trip in a few words. Zo and the Kazuki, and the Kazuki clan were historically very linked. Minks are powerful warriors. Keep this in mind, guys. When the time comes, Zo is the place to go. You know, Zo has a lot of mystery to it. I still want to know what Zunisha did. They will undoubtedly help you a lot. You're making me blush. Lord Odin, what do you mean when the time comes? The time comes when it comes, no? You've gotten so much better, Hiori. I really like this piece. Okay, so she's playing instrument. Uh, really? It's called The Princess of the Moon. Princess of the Moon, okay. I'll get better. It's a beautiful piece. I want you to play it for my funeral. Dang. Uh, wah, Momo, stop, stop making your sister cry. That was your fault, father. Oh, is that because of what I said? Sorry. It was a joke. Wahaha. <laughs> Eliminate the Kazuki bloodline. They are empty-handed. Don't leave a single samurai. Kill them all. I'm sorry, Shinobu. Thank you for the weapon. No problem. Lord Kinemon, could I consider myself part of the Kazuki family? We were all without families, too. It's what you feel in your heart. Wait. Yeah, yeah. We were all without families, too. It's what you feel in your heart. Yes. Inurashi, Nekomamushi, calm down. It's like you were the one who killed... It's like you were the one who killed Lord Odin, you moron of a cat. You airhead, it's a bit suspicious of you to worry about what your enemies think. Wouldn't you be that... You, wouldn't you be the spy that Kaido spoke of by any chance? Look behind you. Ugh. Inu, Neko, bunch of idiots. What is that thing? Don't go help them. We don't have time. We have too many pursuers. Help me, Ashura. Okay. Den Denjiro, Ashura. Damn it. Kuri, okay. Location, Kuri. They are surrounded. Burn them. Nothing to fear. I will send you away. You can run away. Mother. Oh, oh crap, okay. Someone got Momonosuke? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh crap, hold up. Okay, that's Kaido, that's Kaido. And your name is? Oof. Okay, dang, Kaido's choking out Momonosuke, dude. I'm going to fall, it's high. I'm afraid I'm going to die. Your father is the idiot lord. Your death? Oh, I see what's going on. Holy crap, so... Kaido is pretty much dangling Momonosuke off. Okay, I see what's going on. I was kind of thrown off by that panel, but I see what's going on. So, yeah. I'm, and then Momonosuke is pretty much saying, I'm going to fall, it's high. I'm afraid I'm going to die. And then Kaido is pretty much saying, Your father is the idiot lord. Your death will mark the end of the Kazuki clan. No. Your father is a great... Dot, dot, dot. And one day, father is a great warrior. And me, one day, 
one day I will be in charge of this country. So Momonosuke is pretty much um, echoing um, Toki's thoughts. Dang, Kaido's, Kaido has... Um, his legs look relatively thin compared to his body. Okay, moving on. A dream. You really are a child. Father! And this thing is Odin's son. And wait, wait, hold up. So he didn't, okay, he didn't throw him off. And this thing is Odin's son. He will die burned in the castle. Lord Momonosuke, Lady Hiori, Lady Toki. You are safe and sound, thank God. All of you, come here. I have to talk to you. To the future? Princess, it will be over soon. Don't let the samurai out of the castle. Hold the doors. Someone went out. Fire! This is not a samurai, so who is it? Oh, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, let me scroll back up a bit. Hold up. Okay, the scene cuts to Kuri Bakura, okay. The night is falling. It is getting darker and darker. Granny, I'm scared. It's not like a it's not a night like the others. It is over. The Kazuki clan, Lord Odin. We did not trust how to trust them. Wait, we did not know how to trust them until the end. The punishment of the gods will befall us. It's an eternal night without the slightest clarity that awaits us. Toki, you're looking for it too, right? That's why you went through 800 years. That famous day when the world would be overturned. If that's the case, you only have to jump for 20 years and your dream will be... Okay, she, he, uh, okay, she uh, shut him up. No dinner for you tonight, Odin. Hmm? Uh, I guess so. I have no, I have no way to make money, so that's not what I meant. But what then? You tell me horrible things, Lady Toki. Odin, if I'm here, it's because I fled the past, taking in, taking a leap into the future. I thought to myself, you, the moon that does not know. The dawn. May your wish come true. And your nine shadows take away this night of twenty years towards the uh, towards the sparkling dawn. Lady Toki. Boil the water, I tell you. But she boils it. But but she boils it, Lord Orochi. It is not how it is not hot. You want me to take a cold bath or something? Lord Orochi, the water is already very hot. You will burn yourself. Shut your trap. I'm getting cold. I'm getting cold, I'm telling you. The tremors won't stop. Bring me the bones of the samurai. Why haven't you found them? Okay, so Orochi's going through it right now, huh? Bring me the proof that they died. 20 years. Are they still alive? Lady Toki? Princess. Look, it's the Kappa dance. Oh, crap. It's the Kappa dance, okay. Whoa! Oh, is that is that Denjiro? Hold up, hold up. We're just getting. I'm I, there's just. I'm just analyzing the panels right now, dude. So give me give me a second. I'm just trying to see what I'm what these panels are all about. So Den. Okay, so we see Denjiro. More. Okay. Who is? Oh, hold up. You. The type in disgusting, uh, the type in disgusting rags. Are you sure you live here in the capital? Oh, hold up, hold up. Take us under your orders. What's your name? Ah, yes, my name is Kyoshiro. You know, you know. Here, okay. Okay, the Kyoshiro family, huh? I heard about you. Do you want to become a bodyguard? Do you want to become my bodyguard? It would be a real honor, Shogun Orochi. Many women, m uh, money, women, soldiers. I will provide you with everything you want. Mwahaha. <laughs> he is too strong. Who is this guy? He is smart 
in addition to very uh, to being very competent this is the birth of the this is the birth of the new underworld leader successor of Hyogoro the flower the capital of flowers has new yakuza the Kyoshiro family he still has a weak point that's right it always gives the impression that it will fall asleep where his nickname uh, where his nickname Kyoshiro the sleepy what he must have gotten he must have too much fun at night look it's Ushimitsu the money stuck oh, okay look it's Ushimitsu the money stuck in my attic has been stolen Lady Hiyori princess where did she go and why boss I found this cute little girl outside my store. She is an orphan and ended up in the cap in the capital by chance. We're not going to let her starve. You probably don't recognize me, but Okay. You know, Denjiro, really? It's me, Lady Hiori. So, it's thanks to Kawimatsu. It's because, you know, this was, okay, okay, here's the thing. How many people predicted this? So many people. So many people were throwing around the theory that Denjiro is Kyoshiro. Man, dude. I don't know how that theory started, to be honest. I, I don't know how it started. I have heard of the theory. I have seen tweets uh, prior to this chapter, um about how people think that thought that Denjiro was Kyoshiro and now we know it is in fact him so here's the deal how that was a bit I saw this coming for two reasons number one is because for Denjiro it, like he had to have been somebody that we have already met because if they just reintroduced him later in the story it wouldn't have that big of an impact. I feel like that's that's number one. Number two, um, if you guys watch the anime, if you guys watch the anime, right, the current opening of One Piece shows all the, there's a scene where all the nine scabbards are shown, every single one of them. And in the la when in one of those scenes, in the back, you see a silhouette, or a, not, a, not even a silhouette. He's just in the back, you can see Kyoshiro You can see his face people instantly made the connection wait a minute They're showing all the scabbards and this man all the way in the back. He kind of looks like Kyoshiro, doesn't he? So people connected the dots real quick. It has to be Denjiro It has to be him and Jeez, dude, that was um, okay. That, that was um, yeah, that was a kind of a big spoiler in there Okay, that was a uh, yeah I didn't think much of it, but I, I was kind of like, hey, that, that does kind of look like um, Denjiro. I'm mean, not Denjiro. It kind of looks like Yoshida. Why is he in the opening? But now, obviously, we know why. Okay. So moving on. I got kind of sidetracked. Moving on. It is because of the demon called Anger that I wear this face. Even Kinemon cannot recognize me. It is a chance for us. Please keep my identity secret until the day of the final battle. And not to say a word about it, not even to our allies. Now it is me who will replace Kawamatsu and protect you. Call yourself Kumurasaki. They hid their game well until today. This chapter, dude, okay. Denjiro is Kyoshiro, confirmed. And not only that, but he is also the witching hour boy. As we could... Wow, okay, so... Man, it's nice to see that this has actually become a reality rather than just being a theory out there. Um, some people believed in the theory, some people didn't. Uh, like I said, I had heard of the theory. I never dug deep into proof as to why people thought that Denjiro was Kyoshiro. The only thing I had to go by was... Um, the anime opening and also the idea that Dendro is probably somebody we have already met and that is the case so another thing I want to talk about real quick is imagine that you are so angry 
You are so angry that your face permanently changes forever. Shape, look, permanently you have a different face because of how angry you are. And that's pretty much what happened in Denjiro right here. And geez, that that is some type of next level anger, dude. But this is this is um this is a game changer because the bridges to Tokage Port. I hope I said that right. I hope I'm remembering correctly. But the last we heard of it, the bridges to that specific port were all burned down. And if I remember correctly, the person left in charge of the capital was or is Kyoshiro. In other words, Denjiro. So that is a game changer right there, dude. The way I see it, he has to have one of the one of the most frustrating backstories in One Piece. Um, because for 20 years, he's been under Orochi and Kaido's uh, authority. You know what I mean? He's been Orochi's lapdog, a, a loyal servant, you know. Imagine feeling all that anger, knowing you are right there. You have, you you have access to Orochi whenever, knowing you could kill him at any moment. But he has been patient. That has got to be brutal torture on this man, mentally, physically, emotionally, dude. Denjiro is a strong character, dude. He is strong, and so it it all, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. One interesting thing that I saw in this chapter as I'm going through the panels again is that um, Hiori was telling Odin that um, as she was playing her instrument, uh, she said that... No, 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 no. Odin said that he wanted her to play him that song at his funeral. So one thing that I'm thinking about as I read this uh, chapter as I'm looking at this panel again is that we know that she wears a mask when she plays so what if she wears that mask to kind of hide her feelings of sadness maybe maybe she's crying under that mask because she remembers what Odin told her that he wanted her to play that piece at his funeral so maybe every time she plays that song, she, she starts to cry. Maybe that's why she hides her face. I really want to see what type of sabotage Denjiro has in place for Orochi. Orochi would never suspect Denjiro. Kyoshiro, in this case, um, as he knows him. You know, Denjiro even said that not even Kinemon recognized him. So yeah, his, his face got twisted for forever, permanent. So I really wonder what type of sabotage he has in place for Orochi and Kaido. Now, this also brings me to the point of who the traitor is. Three suspects in my mind. Kanjiro, Raizu, and Kinemon. Kinemon, kind of a wild card. Kanjiro and Raizu, more likely. I'm starting to maybe think that it might be Raizu. And the reason why I say this is because, number one, uh, Cat Viper and Dog Storm, they lost limbs. They got tortured protecting. Uh, they got tortured for protecting Rizo. They never gave up his location even though they were hiding him in Zo. Not only did they lose limbs and suffered torture, but many people living in Zo were killed. So imagine just how much of a punch to the gut, the feeling of betrayal. Imagine how bad that would be if it turned out that Rizo was indeed the traitor. They lost limbs. They lost their people. Protecting this man who ultimately ends up being the traitor. That'd be, that'd be brutal for them. And I think it'd be good um, in terms of a storyline twist. You know what I mean? So that's one reason why I think that Raizo could be the traitor. Another reason why is because, again, how did Jack and his crew find Zo? Because the only way to find Zo is through the Viva cards, right? And 
In that scenario, I think Jack would have had to follow Rise's Fever card, unless you want to say one of uh, one of Cat Viper or Dogstorm is a traitor. But I, I don't see that. No, that, that can't be. So in that situation, Jack would have had to follow Rizo's Beaver card. Which is why he was so adamant. He was so... And I think that's only because he knew that he was there because of the Beaver card. It can't be that Jack is just that headstrong. And that he refused to take no for an answer. I truly think that Jack probably had his Beaver card and that's why... He knew that Rizo was in fact at Zo, and he was calling out the BS of the um, of the people of Zo. You know, they were saying, "No, we don't know Zo. Um, we don't know uh, Rizo." But with Jack having the Weaver card pointing to the direction of Zo, he could tell that they were lying. As far as Conjurer goes, you know, he's just something has got to be planned for him because at the moment. I feel like Conjuro has taken a backseat to every single other person, every other character, Scabbards, you know. So I feel like Oda has something big planned for him. And, you know, he has a devil fruit. He's an artist. I think I might have touched on this in my last video, but but um, as far as the One Piece story goes, he's portrayed as a horrible artist. What if he's not? What if that's just, his, you know, him trying to mislead others? What if he's actually such a good artist that to genius level that he can imitate others perfect like a doppelganger i don't really have much to go by for conjuro except that he's just he's just there you know he's off something big has to be planned for him anyway that's gonna do it for this reading of one piece i hope you guys enjoyed and you know the way things are going you know here i thought we we're gonna be done with flashbacks. I'm not complaining, this was a good one. But um, I feel like the mysteries of One Piece, when it comes to this arc, are slowly starting to get revealed. You know, we got Dangerous Identity. Uh, if, when it comes to the traitor, I feel like we might be getting that very soon. Denjiro has to know that. So I think that might be coming up very soon, who knows? We just have to wait and see. But um, yeah, overall, very good chapter. Uh, theory was confirmed. Denjiro is Kyoshiro. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what he holds for Orochi and Kaido. You know he's going to mess something up, dude. Anyway, that's going to do it for this chapter. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.